What's up, YouTube? We back with another video. It's all pro sports talk, the home of sports talk. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And today we're going to discuss the Carolina Panthers. The week two win against New Orleans Saints. Now, I cover week one of them against New York Jets. And I've been trying to tell everybody about this Panthers team. I've been telling them that they are playoff bound. This one of the tough young teams in the NFL. But no one wanted to listen but, but the Carolina Panther fans. that has been all on this channel. Shout out to y'all. Everybody else, everybody else, their little fan base from the Saints talking about something that we going to see them. Who going to beat us in week two? We going to see them. Y'all came to Carolina and got demolished and got whooped. That's what happened. Let me be honest with you. Jameis Winston had five touchdowns last week. He had one rushing touchdown this week. Zero touchdowns passing, two interceptions. Got pressure 16 times and got sacked four. Now, I like Jameis Winston. I'm a Jameis Winston fan. But I told everybody this was a bad matchup from the start. Brian Burns ate today. And I'm looking at this team from this point of view for, for the Carolina Panthers. This defense last year was not that good, especially on third down. They were one of the worst teams defensive-wise on third down last year. But I'm looking at this team right now, and I know it's only been two games. They look really good. DJ Moore had a phenomenal game. Eight receptions, 79 yards and a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey didn't do much noise in that rushing department. Three yards a carry, 24 attempts to 72 yards, one rushing touchdown. We know McCaffrey liked to eat in different ways. Five receptions, 65 yards. Right. Sam Dorn looks like a completely different person. This man just went through a bad, like a bad marriage with the New York Jets. He moved on with the Panthers and so far so good. He enjoying that honeymoon stage right now with the Panthers. He looking real good. 26 for 38, 305 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Now the interception he had, he was crowded up in the pocket with a whole bunch of Saints defenders around him, a whole bunch of bodies trying to get rid of the ball. He just shoveled past the ball away and one of the defensive linemen on the Saints Got an interception, so it's not really a bad play from Sam Darnold. Just has to clean it up on that department. This was the best game I think he's played of his entire career. This is even better than last week. He made all the right plays. He didn't make any bonehead decisions. When it was third and five or third and seven, he made the right plays. He didn't hold on to the ball for too long. He got pressured 12 times, two sacks. Both sacks were not his fault. The offensive line played pretty good today for the most part against New Orleans Saints pass rush. And I get the Saints were missing Marshawn Lattimore. They were missing Michael Thomas. They was missing a lot of guys. But I want people to realize this last year. The Carolina Panthers was in a close game with the New Orleans Saints. Teddy Bridgewater took a bad sack and it got them out of field goal range. And Teddy Bridgewater was more of a safe quarterback. We see what Sam Dorner can do in this system. And for the majority of last year, Chris McCaffrey was out. Their best offensive player by a margin. So I don't want to hear this, well, we didn't have Michael Thomas, we didn't have this guy. The Saints found a way to dominate the Green Bay Packers, a team that were going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year in the NFC Championship. And they found a way to go in there and beat this team. Like I said, I love the way that this team is playing right now. I know it's only been two weeks, and a lot of people saying, well, man, they beat up on a Jets team that's not that good. Well, they just beat up on the Saints team and get this division rival, but this is a turning point for this team. And I've been singing the praises for this team for quite a long time. I like the way that the New Orleans Saints are moving. I mean, I like the way that the Carolina Panthers are moving. I like the way they're trending upward. And this can be a playoff team for sure. I like the way that things being made. I like the way that things have moved for this team. The free agency moves that they've made from Robbie Anderson, from extending Robbie Anderson, bringing in Sam Darnold, drafting J.C. Horn. All of that has brought in now. All of those draft picks is coming to a head now. Do I think they're a top five team in the NFL? No, but they're going to be a playoff team for sure. If they can keep this up and keep this thing rolling. Matt Rule, every program he's been a part of, he made he has made the teams better. And Temple, he made the team better. You look at this team right here, he's making the Carolina Panthers better. That's what he's doing. This defense last year was atrocious. And today, they blitzed and were all over Jameis Winston against a good Saints offensive line. They found a way to single out Alvin Kamara, and he had little to no production. Alvin Kamara had five carries for six yards. Four recession for 25 yards. That's one of the worst games of his entire career. And he wasn't hurt or anything. And Matt Rule found a way to help game plan for this man. And shout out to the defensive coordinator for Carolina Panthers. They found a way to isolate and 
focus on Jameis Winston's weaknesses. He had a bad interception to where he was getting blitzed off the right side. He throws the ball up, Justin Burrow on the back end. Pick, it's an interception, picks it off. Jeremy Chin had nothing on the stat sheet, but he was roaming all over the field. The tight end was not open. Taysom Hill got in for a play. Jeremy Chin was right there to tackle him and stop him from running all over the place. Jameis Winston had one rushing touchdown, and that was late in the fourth quarter. The Carolina Panthers dominated this game. The thing is with the Carolina Panthers, they went to sleep at the wheel in the third quarter. They didn't score anything. You look at them going into the halftime, they were up 17-0. And it's similar to what happened last week with the New York Jets. And this is why I want to hone in on this team. There are weaknesses that they lack up in the second half. And they did some of that last year too. Matt Rule needs to help fix that. And also Joe Brady. I would love to see a situation to where that these guys could go in and just be full pedal to the metal mode for all four quarters. But the defense was outstanding for them in the third quarter and also the fourth quarter. They woke up a little bit in the fourth quarter. Chris McCaffrey had some cramping issues. He comes back in the game, scores a touchdown. That brings him up again. The little plays that the Carolina Panthers are making helps them out way more than it did last year. And Sam Darnold throwing more to Dan Arnold, that's gonna help out a lot. Dan Arnold helps out this team in more ways than one. A lot of people are saying that Joe Brady cannot use the tight end well, that he doesn't use them in the red zone. Well, today he used them a little bit. Three recession, 55 yards for Dan Arnold. I can see a situation where more play action bootlegs to where you can have the tight end run like a little wheel route on the left side. He tried to implement that last year with Ian Thomas, it just didn't work out as well. But I can see Dan Arnold making a lot of sideline catches, a lot of red zone catches. That's what he did for the Arizona Cardinals. I think he do the same thing with the Carolina Panthers right now. And the main significance with this is they hold a tiebreaker over New Orleans Saints for right now. They're one of the better teams in the NFC. That's my opinion for the Carolina Panthers. They are extremely young. I don't think they're going to be a Super Bowl contender or anything, but they have the right pieces right here, right now. You have an untapped potential in Sam Darnold, who is really good who's never had the opportunity till now. I've been singing his praises for the longest. And people have been saying this, well, man, he's a bust. He know he played for the Jets. We saw what happened with Zach Wilson day. The Jets are no, are no man land. That's what they are. The Carolina Panthers are revitalizing this man's career. This is the best he's looked since he was in USC. Christian McCaffrey, when he's healthy, best running back in football. He's a mini receiver, and he's one of the best pro runs in the NFL as well. He's a two and one. DJ Moore is a good short-handed receiver, and Robbie Anderson is a sure speedster down the field. This team has all the weapons up front, and their defense last year, like I said, it was not anything to write home about. But you have names such as Byron Burns, Derrick Brown. I've been singing these praises, and it's all coming to the head right now. Shaq Thompson had another good game today. These, this team right here, these draft picks over time, they're adding up. And they're starting to phone in together. Hassan Reddick, another free agency pickup. One and a half sack today. He had a beautiful sack in the third quarter against Jameis Winston. They were marching down the field. He knocked all of the momentum back for the Saints. Made him go punt the football. Morgan Fox was all over the field again today. This team looks really good. And I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. Do not sleep on the Carolina Panthers. Trust me, they're going to wake you up. J.C. Horn had a couple of bad plays here and there, but for the most part, he did good. Dante Jackson had a phenomenal game. Phenomenal game today. Played, in my opinion. I love the way that they're managing the game with this team. I know I keep saying that, but the way that Matt Rule is using this team, this is going to be a tough team to beat. They are going to easily beat the Atlanta Falcons out for this position in the playoff standings. The Falcons don't play defense at all. The Bucks are going to be very tough for this team to beat. But teams like New Orleans Saints you saw today, they can capitalize on the weaknesses of Jameis Winston. They can go there and they can take advantage of that. The only thing that concerns me about the Carolina Panthers is the second half tendencies. But for the most part, for this game, for week two, they played a phenomenal game. Sam going to do what he had to do. They dominated 26-7. In my opinion, this is not an upset. This is what's going to be more to come for this team. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this, Please hit the subscribe button to the channel. It helps me grow. It helps you out as well. Most importantly, I want each and every last one of you guys to stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.